uh, in fees weakened a little bit further in fact uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think the only only reason why this may be happening if at all in, in the session aside of the broader weakness in IT is the fact that it's the CEO who wants to retire three months early it, it, it's not a it's not a a big period which is uh, uh, you know preponing his retirement right. by it's just a quarter but he was anyways due to retire in march 2015 the fact that he's saying that he wants to retire by jan 2015 i mean three months is not a big thing for a company or for a ceo of infosys size to stay on but the fact that he's saying that he wants to retire by a quarter earlier i mean maybe that might just raise some eyebrows and i don't know if the market would read it uh, that way i don't know if analysts would again think about it that way because the, it, it just comes on the back of uh, a lot of high profile senior executives retiring from infosys over the last 12 months and then you have the news that the ceo of the company is retiring a quarter earlier i mean i'm i'm sure a lot of people will ask the questions about why is it that he can't wait for 3 months he could have just waited and gone on for his retirement as scheduled in march but he's doing it uh, a quarter earlier so this is uh, this is i i think uh, the the bigger thing that people will now uh, uh, watch out for a lot of people will probably even look at it this way that now it's an an narayan murthy who's running the whole show sure, and yeah. which is why you have this thing of uh, you know maybe people will start anticipating that infosys is now back to its old days wherein they are under promising and over delivering so i don't know how people will look at the results this time around in the run up and how people will look at these announcements uh, whether they just look at it that nrn is running the show or whether they look at a lot of high profile people exiting and even the ceo exiting a quarter before he was due yeah that's clearly what most of the brokerages are also talking about when we look at the overall results of infosys this is something that i think a lot of clarity is also required as you touched upon the fact that we have seen a number of high profile exits come about and lots of eyebrows being raised with respect to shibulal's exit as well so let's in fact uh, bring on board uh, chandra shrikant she joins in with more details regarding this and uh, shibulal retiring before the term as we've been flagging up this is seen as a little bit of a concern for the company uh, chandra um it's quite surprising because till now whenever we've asked uh, shibulal if he will serve out his full term he has said that he will serve out his full term this is what he said uh, uh, recently in a davos interview to et now as well so it is surprising that he's now expressed uh, willingness to really give up that post uh, uh, sooner than uh, when his term ends but uh, you know ever since narayan murthy came on board uh, last year it was uh, seen as a major backseat for shibulal because he's really not hands on with the operations of the firm it's a show completely being run by the chairman's office uh, chairman narayan murthy with um, uh, you know all his executive assistants and senior leaders to assist him so um, i think shubulal's role was already undermined just that uh, uh, people said that he would wait out till his term ends because uh, he wasn't the type to you know really exit abruptly uh, because it would show infosys and the founder in a bad light so that was a sense that we've been getting all along it's a bit surprising that it's happening Uh, you know sooner than expected but uh, we've managed to speak to a couple of board members uh, they are really playing it down they are saying that uh, you know he's been gracious enough to uh, offer to step down before his term ends and uh, that they really don't want to leave it till the last minute till his term ends to really decide on a ceo uh, succession plan so if you look at it the nominations committee will look at internal candidates as well as external candidates i think for the first time they are also going to hire two agencies to help them with this one of course is egon zender uh, we have reported before that they are going to engage a search for much before murthy came on board and they are also going to take the help of another agency called DDI which closely evaluates corporate executives at this point they are saying that they will evaluate internal as well as external candidates but i think uh, it's almost a foregone conclusion that the internal favorite uh, to uh, succeed shibulal is really bg shrinivas who was uh, recently elevated as president ub pravin rao is also a president but uh, people see him more as a coo uh, supporting bg shrinivas rather than a ceo so it's going to be interesting to see when they will come out with this announcement will it happen you know in the next quarter or two uh, much before that jan deadline will be interesting to see uh, uh, but i think it's been uh, quite an inning for shibulal um, he, he did really well as coo but his tenure as ceo hasn't uh, really been favorable for him